Welcome back aspiring entrepreneurs and go-getters. So in this video, I will guide you through five different strategies to skyrocket your savings and master your money management. As a student who has personally used these strategies for nearly three years, I can assure you that they work. So now, let's get started. Saving a substantial amount of money quickly is like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube in the dark. Challenging, but it's not impossible. On one side, we are struggling with inflation, rising living costs like accommodation, food, and clothing. On the other hand, we are resisting daily temptations in a world where nearly anything is a click away. Statistics reveal that 61% of adults in the US live paycheck to paycheck. And in the UK, 34% of adults have less than $1,000 in savings. So in this video, I will walk you through five different strategies to streamline and accelerate your savings process. So the first concept is Parkinson Law. Established in 1950s, it suggests that work expands to fill the time allocated for its completion. If you allocate three weeks to plan and release a video, it will take that long filled with procrastination and distraction. However, if you give yourself a tight 48-hour deadline, you will discover creative ways to accomplish the task effectively, often without compromising quality. This principle applies to finances too, where money acts as the resource. If you spend all your net income, you will find ways to do so. But if you were to set aside 10% immediately into a separate savings account when you first receive your paycheck, you will be able to adjust your lifestyle to live on the remaining 90%. I strongly recommend you to push yourself to save 20% or even 30%. You might even be surprised with your own adaptability. So drop a comment down below to tell me how much you have saved so far. The second strategy is to avoid being a last minute person. Have you ever heard of a phrase, a stitch in time saves nine? Well, if you sort out a problem immediately, it may save a lot of extra work later. Planning ahead can save substantial money. For example, dedicating a few hours on Sundays to meal prep can prevent costly and unhealthy takeaway habits. So planning also saves on overdraft fees by allowing time to review bank accounts. And it can also reduce transportation costs by enabling the use of public transport. So last minute decision often comes with a financial premium and limit your options. Thirdly, embrace saving technology. So there are apps outside that can help you in your saving journey. For example, Plum, available in the UK, or Sidley, if you're available in Singapore. It analyzes your spending patterns to determine an affordable saving amount and transfers it automatically to a savings or investment account. Such apps can also round up your purchases to the nearest pound, allowing you to save the differences seamlessly. Leverage such technology to align your habits with your financial goals. Fourthly, consider doing a yearly financial review. I like the monthly budgeting, which is like rowing a boat forward. The yearly review is stepping back to ensure you are heading in the right direction. So consolidate all of your financial accounts annually. Learn to categorize your expenses and critically analyze every single category. Ask yourself, do you really need this? Can you eliminate this? Reduce or even find a cheaper alternative. So while this process may not be enjoyable, the return on investment from this annual review can be significant. Adding to these strategies, and it is also the last strategy I have for you guys, the fifth strategy. It is to minimize recurring expenses. Review your subscriptions and memberships. Are you fully utilizing all the services you are paying for every month? Often, we subscribe to services out of convenience or a perceived future need, but forget to re-access their ongoing value. So cancelling or downgrading unused subscription can lead to significant long-term savings. If you enjoyed these tips or have your own saving strategy, be sure to drop a comment down below and share it with us.
And this is all for today's video. Thank you all for staying till the end. Kindly like this video if you have learned anything from it. And comment any questions you have. Have a nice day, Ali. See you next time.